Attention now to Leslie Doles, who is the communications director at Second Harvest of Greater New Orleans and Acadiana. And Leslie, thank you so much for being with us. Of course, first of all, uh, the Football Food and Families uh, program that we've partnered with you guys is just doing so very well. And we thank you for all the hard work you guys have been putting into it. Uh, well, Cox has been a tremendous partner with Second Harvest Food Bank. And we can't tell you how important uh, Football Food and Families is, especially during this time of year. You know, September is Hunger Action Month. It's a very critical time for food donations. We're coming off of a long, hot summer, going into the holiday season. So this is a really important food drive, community-wide food drive for Second Harvest Food Bank. Tell us about Second Harvest. You guys do so much, and it, it, it amazes me about all of the people and all the parishes you reach. You know, we reach 23 South Louisiana parishes from the Mississippi border to the Texas state line. 263,000 people come to Second Harvest Food Bank for food assistance. 80,000 children and 40,000 seniors. So what we're doing is really important. There's a lot of people who are struggling out there. It's people who may have been cut back on their hours at work. Seniors who are on a fixed income and may not have enough money for groceries or medication. Um, you know, children are such an important part of our community. And we have a lot of kids who are going to bed hungry at night. If they're not receiving proper nutrition, they can't learn in school. They can't, they can't grow and they can't thrive. One thing that you guys have started, I think it's recently, maybe I'm wrong, excuse me if I am, but is the backpack program for the kids. And that is just a great thing where you don't think about when they leave school that they may not have the nutrition they need. You know, many of our school children are on federal programs for free and reduced uh, breakfast and lunch, but over the weekend, some kids don't know where their next meal is coming from. They may not get another hot meal until they return to school on Monday. Mm. And so about 1,400 children across South Louisiana receive what we call a weekly backpack. It goes home very discreetly on a Friday afternoon, and it's enough food to kind of get them through the weekend. It's kid-friendly foods that don't necessarily need heating or special wow. preparation, and are highly nutritious. Uh, it makes a huge difference in the lives of a lot of children. How can people get involved if, if they want to give food or just become a part of Second Harvest? You know, it's very easy to help fight hunger in South Louisiana. We always tell people there are a few ways that they can help. Volunteering their time is just critical. We have more than 9,000 volunteers every year who give their time to help us sort through donated food product, help us out at special events. Um, food drives, you know, when you're going to the grocery this weekend, pick, up, pick up an extra can of peanut butter. We're short almost half a million jars of peanut butter this year wow. uh, because of high peanut butter prices. Um, or, you know, a small financial contribution can go a long way. With just one dollar, Second Harvest can feed a family of four. Well, Leslie, we're going to have you back on in the first, half, first quarter. We're going to talk about how well these schools did, and they did tremendously well in football, food, and families, brought to you by Domino's and Cribs. And, again, thank you so much for all that your agency and your staff is doing. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. We want to thank Cox, and we certainly want to thank Holy Cross and Shaw for their tremendous efforts this week. Can't wait to hear those numbers, Leslie. Thank, thank you so you much. Can.